before I start this video, I just wanted to let you guys know that in this video, my voice is weird because at this time of recording, I have a sore throat. Another quick reminder that these references are either from my lecture or from Google. You're probably wondering what is propagation. It is transmitting something through a certain medium, in this case, transmitting signals. There are many phenomena of propagation, path loss, shadowing, and multipath fading. Path loss is the loss of signal wave power. It usually occurs when the receiver is moving further from the transmitter. The more the receiver moves further, the less the signal strength becomes. Shadowing is the fluctuation of signal wave power because of some obstacle obstructing the transmitter and the receiver. It can go high, then low, then a bit high, then low again. Multipath fading is the variety fluctuation of signal power because of various different trajectory which are reflected, thus becomes faded. It has similar characteristics as shadowing but fluctuates crazy. Path loss modeling that we will be covering are Maxwell's equation, free space and two path models, ray tracing models, single slope path loss exponential models, and measurement based and standards models. Maxwell's equation covers the combination of electric field and magnetic field combined into electromagnetic field propagation. However, it is too complex and impractical. Our line of sight model covers how path loss for unobstructed line of sight path of the transceiver and the receiver. It naturally will experience power loss due to attenuation of longer distances. Power decrease is characterized inversely proportional to distance. Due to the effective aperture of antenna, it is also proportional with the wavelength and inversely with the frequency. All squared. Two-ray model means that the receiver receives two types of signals, line of sights and reflected. Ground bounce approximately cancels line of sight path above critical distance. Power decrease is characterized inversely proportional to distance and twice when it is greater than the threshold distance. There are no relation of signal wavelength and frequency to the power. General ray tracing models signal components as particles, such as reflection, scattering, and diffraction. It requires side geometry and dielectric property. Simplified path loss model used when path loss dominated by reflections. Most important parameter is the path loss exponent or gamma, determined empirically. This is the equation and the condition. Millimeter wave is a high type frequency with frequency range between 30 until 300 GHz. Its advantages are high data rates and low latency. However, the disadvantages are its limited range, especially when there are obstacles. To solve this, we must model the characteristic of it with empirical channel models. What is empirical channel models? It is a set of derived measurement of mathematical equation and diagrams to model and simulate the wireless channel. But every location simulated with this model has a variety of outcome. So it is very location based and until now, some locations are not yet simulated. <laughs> 